hello dear students welcome to this class of ma final paper 5b that is american literature i am dr s s vedwan and dear students in this video we'll discuss another beautiful poem by emily dickinson the great american poet and the title of the poem is i heard a fly buzz when i died this particular poem it represents the narrator who is on her death bed here the first person i in the title it stands for person who is witnessing the uh, final we can say uh, scene of his death so let us read out the text and try to understand the poem i heard a fly buzz when it died the stillness of the room was like the stillness in the air between the haze of storm so let us try to understand the poem i as i told you refers to the person who is witnessing his death a uh, fly with a capital f refers to death or we can say that death here has been personified and it refers to death or we can say to christ the morning scene is marked by the arrival of the death then buzz it is a typical sound of a fly we often say that a fly buzz the buzzing of the fly it is the only sound disturbing the peaceful atmosphere remember it is the scene of death where there is absolute silence and the only sound heard is that of a that of a fly buzzing the fly is also related to the daily domestic activities let us now proceed to the second stanza uh, okay uh, the heaves of storm let us uh, describe this between the heaves of storm it refers to the stillness in the room and it is compared to the calm that follows the violent wind the gush of the wind let us now come back to the second stanza the eyes around had wrung them dry and breaths were gathering firm from the last onset when the king be witnessed in the room i willed my keepsakes signed away what portion of me be assignable and then it was there interposed a fly with blue uncertain stumbling buzz between the light and me and then the windows failed and then i could not see to see so a beautiful poem of three stanzas the eyes around it means that the mourners they have started arriving they are uh, assembled they have assembled there around the coffin observing the dying person all the relatives of the nearest and the dearest one they have started arriving and they have gathered around the coffin rung them dry it refers to the dry eyed mourners who are deeply grief ridden the mourners it seems now that their eyes have uh, ran out of uh, water tears and 
their eyes have now went dry the last onset dear students it refers to the final arrival of death for carrying the soul to the heaven me here stands for the dying person and the dying person is denied the vision of immortality and the peace of life after death the falling of the windows shatters her dream of entering heaven and the end of her struggle to give up the life they are this earthly life and the final culmination is i could not see to see that i will not be there to witness what will happen after and this is the final culmination of the poem and the beautiful poem of three stanzas and emily dickinson in this particular poem she has described to us the death and how the corpse it lies and how the mourners the relatives they gather round and they mourn their eyes have ran dry now this particular poem dear students is uh, it uh, we can say that in this particular poem the speaker anticipates her own death just before its actual arrival she is suddenly awakened by the buzzing of a fly uh, from her death bed and she sees beforehand the scene of mourning which is going to take place after her death she finds the scene very calm and the mourners anxiety is ridden so we can say that uh, the poet describes the final struggle of body and soul and it is suggestively conveyed as an outset all are the all the relatives all the mourners all the spectators who have come there who have gathered around the coffin of the deceased with all pomp and ceremony they are there to let her for her heavenly abode and this speaker the speaker of the poem she has signed her will and she is ready to leave this world she is bidding farewell to her friends before leaving her for, uh, for her heavenly abode this marks the onset of her spiritual journey that is journey to the other world which will possibly identify her with god but the buzzing of the fly delays the course of her new journey so we can say that the last two lines of the speaker's uh, of this poem it reveals the confusion uh, of the dying person and the windows of her room we can say that she is both distancing her fear and showing her detachment from life and the speaker fails to see anything at the time of her departure from life that is the final moment of her death she is unable to see anything at her final uh, breath at her final when her final journey starts for the heavens where she will be one with god i hope you have understood the poem dear students uh, thank you very much